guys welcome back to the channel frontwoods farmer here today with a little bit of luck we're going to change a drive belt on a polaris sportsman 700 we just bought this quad it was a new addition to the farm i didn't show yet we were kind of driving it around and uh heard some rapping we thought it was the motor ends up being the drive belt also this is the day after christmas so happy christmas uh, merry christmas happy holidays happy kwanzaa yeah, whatever you guys are hallelujah uh and good times you know thanks for watching if you're not subscribed to the channel you like repair videos homesteading blacksmithing anything fun like that hit the subscribe do not hit subscribe without hitting the bell notification or you'll not get my new videos so let's go got a polaris manual i don't think we'll need it drive belt give you some belt part numbers that's for the original belt from my understanding these fit basically all, you know, your 500, your 700 twins, all those. All right, I don't think I'll actually bore you guys today with uh, a bunch of like, okay, you take this bolt out, you take that. Oh, I almost just slid in the back. We take this bolt out, we take that bolt out, move this panel. Just got a point, say, okay, take these off. This is what you do first, this is what you do second. We're gonna take the stuff off, show you it off. I'm not gonna show you a bunch of wrenching. So that way, if you guys clicked on this link real quick and you're like, dude, just show me how to change a drive belt, that's what I'm gonna do. Because a lot of people don't even know how to change these. They're not And about way. every video, like I say, this is how I change a belt. This ain't the right way to change a belt. This ain't the wrong way to change a belt. This is the way I do it and what I prefer. Your way may be different. If you have a better way, please put it down below in the comments. Be nice about it, give me a thumbs up. So these are about the tools you need if i can remember from my o2 that i had i don't think we needed much more than that this is a lot easier than you guys will think this one i think is about an o5 just from the decals the headlight a couple of little other things that i noticed on it it's a pretty nice quad for 1100 you can't beat it first thing you're going to want to do move this seat there's a handle on the back you lift that up Set the seat somewhere where you're not going to get it all ripped up or anything. Pull these plastics off. Watch when it's cold. They can't crack. They should just slide out. Just don't force them like that. Okay, you don't want to bust any of these tabs up here. There's all these tabs. I always take the back out first. We're going to start off by uh, loosening this breather here, this breather hose. Uh, we're going to end up putting this foot, foot plate. We're going to take that off. Might have to remove partial of the rear fender, but this case, this case covers what we're going to want to get off. We got those hose clamps loosened partially off. I wanted to show you this size underneath for where your footrest is. Take these off. This is a 11 millimeter. So if you're doing it in the woods, yours could be different. So don't, don't quote me on that. So we're going to get those loosened up and try to get this footrest out of the way. And we're going to start taking all these bolts around this uh, cover off right now. Last tip. All these felt sets on top that you have to hold while you put your 11 millimeter on the bottom and loosen, they're all just gonna turn. So what I do is I get it started with the Phillips head. Let's see how it's all rusted out. It should give you just enough to get it going. Then you can push it up on your ratchet and leave a little bit of head space and then get your vice grips put on your Phillips head. I'll show you how. Like this, and you could hold that while you loosen. Right, you got these one, two, three, four, 11 millimeter bolts set. Uh, what you can do, I got these fender flares on. I'm going to try to just pull this out enough to slip that out of there. It's better to have more room, but it's probably about 20 degrees, not even out. Uh, and then we're going to start taking these. are all 10 millimeter bolts. We're going to go around and take those out and slip that cover right, So off. we were able to wiggle that cover off. It's probably best to take this off because it's prone to crack. We didn't crack it. There's fragments of the belt. All we're going to do is I'm going to have my dad film. We're just going to just take us off like a bicycle chain. Start going off the sprocket and put the new one on. All right, so my dad had a better idea. We don't need the old belt. It will slip off like that. That's how we're gonna put the new one on, but we're just gonna cut this with a pair of dikes. Just be careful. It's a good time now to inspect all your bearings, your clutch. This belt is a little tough. It's still wire in there. So let me get this off and then we'll get back to you. Out of there. This 
belt, you can tell it's bad. It's all busted up, that's what the clunking was. Take your new belt off. I already showed you guys the part number. Let's compare it, make sure it's the same belt. It goes up to about there, so yeah, looks like it's the same to me. Started on this one here. Get your hose clamp out of there. I'll walk this belt on. Just like a bike chain. All right, so this definitely isn't a one person job. What we ended up doing is I got it on most of the way. We tried to put it in gear, pushed the machine, but it was sliding in the snow. So potentially that could have worked on pavement. But what we ended up doing was my dad grabbed the clutch. He was spinning the clutch, pulling the belt. I was pulling this, pulling some of the belt, and it eventually popped on. Now, I'm thinking the reason why this belt went, from what I've read on blogs and other YouTube channels, is these covers right here. What people end up doing is cleaning that real good with a brake clean or something, uh, anything really to get the dirt and grease off. And then they put a small thin layer of RTV, I guess the moisture in the water, it just destroys these belts. We're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on and start it up and try it. Put your hose clamps or your breather where they're easy and accessible for next time. Remember that cover, that'll cover these hose clamps, so don't worry about this. Right, covers back on, put our hose clamps where we want them. Put our two bolts back in now we're going to put our foot plate back on board right. i mean even if you have some health silicone what we did is we scrubbed it around us with a hot soapy brush wiped it off let it dry in the house for 15 20 minutes and then there was a crack in this so you want to get the moisture out that's what ruins these belts get that rtv around there now we're going to pop that on right, so we did get the quad started put in gear like any players takes a little juice to get going but it's moving now that's it that's how you change a belt on a Blair Sportsman 500-700. Thanks for watching.